delusion or illusion, those are actually the same things. And there's a phrase that I'd like to use, um, it's been used a lot, called a self-fulfilling prophecy. So when something comes up, we have a story that we run through our mind, and it's based on an experience that we had a long time ago. And this story is ready to go. It's ready to be there to help us, protect us, and to keep us safe. And this story that we use is a self-fulfilling prophecy. It may not be true. For instance, I know some folks who are back out on the dating scene after being married for a long time, and their marriage was lack of a lot of um, emotion, a lack of intimacy, a lack of true connection. And it left them feeling unloved, unwanted, and discarded. Unfortunately, because of that experience, that baggage has transferred into some of their other relationships, actually into every single other relationship since then. And their same story, their same mantra, has now evolved and it's become, what is wrong with me? Why am I so unworthy? Why am I so unlovable? What what am I doing so wrong? I am the most worth, most worthless person in the world. Uh, no one will want to be intimate with me. And you see how that changed. Well, how is it possible that they can do that with a different person over and over and over and over? Is it theoretically possible for them to actually be so unlovable, um, so incapable of being intimate? someone that nobody would want to have a relationship with or is it more likely that when little things come up that tell them wait wait there's an alarm going off you've seen this before that they do things in their life to set up safety nets and then they start to fill in the blanks where the gaps are and they start having this self-fulfilling prophecy so that by the end of time that is experienced in a relationship with the person, they have drawn the same conclusion, the same wrong conclusion, the same cruel conclusion, the same thing that has kept them stuck, the same thing over and over again. We call this illusion or delusion. The example that I just gave you is one that is negative. There is another example where there is positive and this also kind of correlates with aversion so take two people let's say husband and wife and they have a child and this child is chaotic full of energy sometimes obedient sometimes not um, four years old and extremely smart one parent says we need to make sure that we are consistent in discipline and we need to provide uh, consequences for the behavior. The other parent says, no, no, they're just being kids. That's the way it is. They're wonderful and beautiful and life is great. So one is being a little bit more reasonable. The other one is practicing what I would call delusion where it's not necessarily a bad thing, they're living on the positive side of things, but because they are so much into this fantasy world, again, still not aware, still not practicing being mindful, they have created a situation where they're going to ignore all of the things that are going on that aren't helping people, that aren't benefiting them, that aren't helping them grow, and they're gonna stay over here in this land. So delusion, illusion, we use both of them. All of us do. Some of us just prefer one method more than another. Have a great day.